Good morning, Lauren Lefkowitz Gruber, Realty Executives Valencia. It's my birthday and my husband got me my favorite donuts. And should you sign a buyer broker agreement? I uh, went to a meeting with just a few of my associates recently and we were talking about, uh, what was it called? Uh, something about cause, about if you, if a buyer is working with you and then they have another agent write the offer and close the deal, can you get your compensation? Because you worked with that buyer a little bit. I've been selling homes in and out, Valencia, Santa Clarita, Southern California. I've been doing this for almost 17 years now and I have never, ever, ever asked for a buyer to sign what we call a buyer broker agreement. So should you sign it? I don't think so. Why would an agent ask you to sign it? Because they're afraid they're, you're gonna go someplace else is what my presumption is. So if I'm gonna work with you as a buyer, you're gonna make a commitment to me and I'm gonna make a commitment to you. It's a verbal commitment. It's an unspoken kind of rule that you're gonna work with me because I'm gonna be busting my hump to try and find you your home. I've never had a buyer leave me because they were dissatisfied with my services. Never, ever, never, ever. So I don't expect it to happen. But all I want you to do is think about it. If somebody's presenting this with you and you've met them one time, you're not sure if they're the right agent for you, do not sign a broker buyer compensation agreement. Don't do it. So happy birthday to me, Lauren Lefkowitz Grieber, Realty Executives Valencia. Hope you have a great day now. Bye-bye. Oh, keep your wits about you when buying or selling your home or eating donuts or thinking about signing a buyer broker agreement. Bye now.